Welcome everyone, this is B-Rad's Reviews. I am reviewing a, a resin made by Ligari uh, countertops, uh, floor coatings, and um, just to show you how easy the products are, I have already, this is my substrate here, I already taped off everything that I want because I want to, I'm making an American flag, I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran, so I wanted to make a flag. And um, just a second. All right, I'm back. I've already prepped my substrate uh, with primer. This, uh, this is an 80 or 36 by 80 hollow core door that uh, in their videos they, they've done a flag for and um, I just thought I would do a flag uh, since I'm a veteran and I, I love this stuff and I, I'm not gonna lie, this is my second Ligari, um, the second time I've used a product, all right? I originally did a tabletop I don't know if you can see that. Originally did a tabletop with one of their sample kits. It turned out fantastic. And they are they are right. Um, if you want to know more about I, I didn't start off like they started off. I have my I have my base coat mixed already. Um, and I've prepped everything. But if you want to know more about that, you just uh, just look at one of their videos. They give excellent instructions on how to, how to do everything, how to prep your project and all that stuff, whatever you got going on, your countertop, your art project, but I have an art project going on. And I've mixed, uh, I've mixed 96, I've mixed 96 fluid ounces of their resin with their blue, um, with their blue, um, Pearl, mica, pearl, whatever you want to call it. Now, I, I'm going to say what's so exciting about this, and they are correct. I think when you, when you, uh, when you do your art project or whatever you're, you're working on, your countertops, whatever it may be, this stuff is so easy you really can't mess it up. I mean, it's it, for one, it's art. No matter if you're doing a floor, a cabinet top, whatever, it's a, uh, it's art and. Honestly, you know, art's up for interpretation. Stuff like this is abstract, and you know, it's uh, even if it doesn't come out the way you want, more than likely, it's it's gonna it's gonna be okay. So I have everything mixed. I'm gonna drop my according to their instructions. Now, when you mix this, they are correct. Let me go over something real fast with when you mix these things. It's a two to one ratio. So it's very important that you hit two to one in your ratio versus the resin versus the hardener. And the reason behind this, because these guys have formulated a resin that requires no torching and um, the bubbles self pop and stuff when you throw a little denatured alcohol or isopropyl alcohol on it and stuff. So they have carefully worked with chemists to formulate this resin. Now I've tried a few other resins and they're just not, I don't know, they're good resins, don't get me wrong, but this stuff, I mean, it's just that, they're right, it's just that easy. So I'm gonna pour me a bead. I'll pour me a bead down in the middle. I don't know, Todd, or I'm sorry, Tyler, makes us look so much so much easier when he does it. Uh, all right, now I got my little scraper here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna freaking, I'm just gonna kind of, just kind of move this, move this out. I'm not gonna use a, I'm not gonna use a, uh, Oh, what do you call it? 
I'm not going to use a uh, a paint roller. I don't want to get hairs or anything in it. See, it just really goes on so nicely. I mean, it's, it's just it's just freaking amazing. And this is just this is a beautiful color too. Um, you know, sometimes like right now, it just doesn't seem like I have a whole lot of a whole lot of resin or anything on here. But this stuff's self self leveling and everything, so it you know you just kind of want to get it to the edges. You just want to get it spread out and stuff, and then you can. I'm going to add my highlights to it here later on, but you just kind of want to get it all. See, I pulled, I pulled too much over to that side, and it's pulling up. Now, there's quite a bit of work time that you get with this. You know, you get. I'm just kind of gently. Actually, I'm going to get a little bit better, um, a little bit flimsier uh, spatula. But I just kind of wanted to get a good, good coat all the way around here. You know, get some, get some on everything, and then I'll add my, I'll add my highlights. I'm going to use some red spray paint. For the highlights, actually, Tyler makes his uh, he makes it look really, really, really simple, and uh, I just it, it, trust me, it is it is not simple at all. To, it's not simple at all to to get this to. To, to spread out. I mean, it is and it's not. I just, I've never done it before, so it's, it's kind of a kind of a learning experience, you know. Learning experience for me, learning experience for you, I guess, the viewer out there. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying to get resin everywhere. Try to, I think this is just a little, it's a little hard. I'm gonna get me, hold on, I'm gonna get me a, a better squeegee. This isn't a better squeegee, but it's a, uh, it's a, uh, I don't know, uh, it's a little bit more manageable, a little bit more flexible. I guess you just gotta keep on working everything on here. Okay. Get the edges here. If I'm if I'm not talking very much, it's just I'm trying to you know I'm trying to get this so I can add my highlights and everything. It's uh I don't know I probably sh maybe should have added a little bit more. Very, 
I want to cover this up. It's starting to look a little better. I just gotta get get this. You know, it takes a little delicate touch kind of to, to get get some of this on here. And it's just it's a beautiful freaking blue color. I personally would like it a little darker, but you know, hey. Um, I like it just the way it is, I guess. I'm sure this is going to turn out freaking fantastic. I'm praying. Because these kits, you know, these kits are not, they are not real cheap. If you're an artist, you don't have a lot of money. Invest in this. You could probably sell it and make you know double double your money money back. I'm gonna I'm just gonna guess. I mean it actually looks really fucking good so kind of i got some spots i'm not not real happy with but yeah it's, it's not it's not finished leveling yet I wouldn't say it was left in a little bit. Try to fill in some of these little low spots. All right, I know this isn't a very exciting video, but woo, this is the channel that's so angry.
sometimes you just gotta plain, I'm sorry for looking at my backside. Um, sometimes you just gotta play with the resin a little bit. You know, just get it to kind of go where you want it to go, and then it just it'll, it'll, it'll flow out itself. <laughs> All right, that is looking absolutely amazing. Just give me a second. I'm going to mix my highlights, and then I'll start that. All right, I'm back. I just added, if you can see that. I just added my my highlights, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to give them some veins. So I'm going to take my little uh, spatula, and I'm going to just go through these and, and get it to break up a little bit.
Oh, hey there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm not the best. My cameraman's on vacation. I just, this is day two for my Ligari art project. The the 80 or 36 by 80 hollow core door. Um, I did similar to how they did it, but well, because I just I really love the color blue, and uh, you know that's what the flag is: red, white, and blue. The only difference is I added something that it's kind of like my trademark, so to say, when I paint a lot of things. I've got a, a painting over there with, it's called Water Drop Effect. I've never really showed in detail uh, how to do it, but it's really freaking simple. I mean, I have a video, but it just shows the end effect when I did it. And I don't know how this is gonna turn out because I'm using Rival Can spray paint. And uh, most of my uh, artwork and stuff that I've done was with a HVLP spray gun. And it just atomizes paint a lot better. This is all you need to do to water drop. I've done did the water dropping, but just get you, you can get your spray bottle, spray it. I just found if you get one of these pipettes and you just, you know, and you just drop them on there, it takes a little bit longer, but you don't have excess water all over your substrate, causing, you know, um, it still leaves a cool effect, but I get a much cleaner look when I do this. So, and also I thought about, I'm gonna drop red, red, and then I'm gonna to try to drop white in the middle, so to say, that's the plan. I never know how anything's gonna turn out, but I just wanted to, in brief, show the water drop effect, and I'm gonna grab my, my red here. Now, when you water drop, you want to freaking try to hit a side of the water drop. That way, when your paint dries, it gives that really cool effect. We'll just see how this, how this is going to go. kind of ghosting us in here as um, like they like to say on their videos. And two of you know the thing that kind of kind of happens when you do this is you uh, you get um, what do you call it? You kind of get a uh, you move some of the water drops is what I'm trying to say. I guess I can't walk and spray at the same time. All right, now I'm gonna start with my white. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the stars. Now, like I said, I have no clue how this is going to turn out. 
I just did know I didn't want to totally copy the guard and the really cool flag they had. But put a little more red around the edges just Trying to get a good coat on here. All right. Normally, I would have a respirator on and uh, have the garage door up, but it's windy outside and it's blowing stuff. And especially with laying the water on, um, it'll it'll blow it off. It's hard enough to do it like this, but you get a really cool effect. And I just wanted to film this part of doing it. And then I'll finish with my flood coat. The next time, once this dries, I peel it, I mix my flood coat, and then go over the top of it. Thank you for watching. Day number two. Hoorah. All right, this is my final step in this. Well, it'll have to drop, but I've got my flood coat on here. I take this. Oh, just because I want to keep a little of that resin inside there. In, uh, it works in regular paint uh, a lot of times how you get a candy coat and stuff if you want to make it yourself you take your color you take some metallic you take some pearl and you add very little color and pearl and stuff into that clear clear and then you spray it and then you spray another another on top of that I'm just giving this a little stir right here and then I'll pour my bead and then I'll spread it out and then well hopefully we'll have a good result off this.
I'm going to say a few little drips. Get my little squeegee out here. I'm just going to start spreading some of this out. You know, the, while I'm spreading this out, the, the best thing about this, and I know I didn't show my mixing process, but uh, those guys have excellent tutorials on how to mix it. But if you want to add a little bit to this, you know, I want a little bit, I love blue. All right, that's kind of why I was absolutely infatuated with uh, the way they did their flag, and I made just some alterations to it, and uh, I'm hoping mine's going to come out just as good as theirs. Um, these guys make it look so easy. I mean, and you know, it is a little better with two people. You know, you have a mixer, and then you have a, you know, you have someone applying it and stuff, and. Especially your mask. Like I said I did not, I did not cover any of the mask because I wanted to, um, because I just look like a a monkey screwing screwing a football. Honestly, I was uh, it, it was it was pretty horrible. Yeah, uh, something in my that's the kind of the beauty of this resin since there is there is no heating of it or anything like that you know you can literally pick stuff out of it and then it self levels um you know they chemically form formulated this resin to you know the bubble self heating or self popping you know you do not need any heat or any of that stuff to um you know to get get the, the bubbles and stuff out, which, you know, if I don't know how many people have worked with resin before, I'm a newcomer to this, but I, I'm not a newcomer to paint. Um, I do know that um, most of the resins on the market are, you know, they're self-leveling, all that other great stuff. Gosh, yeah, I have one thing right after another, and that's um, I think it's kind of important for you to get whatever you need out of it right away because it is just that much harder to pick it out once it starts setting up. Once it starts setting up, man, you just you, you touch it and you're just you're, you're kind of you kind of killing your your top coat. You know, I, I think overall, you know, as far as resin goes, you know, they uh, they mixed it uh, 64 ounces and 64 ounces. So, these are roughly four, probably about two gallons, you know, on here. Or a gallon and a half, I mean. Gosh, man, I can't get that out. But get some of this resin. I'm sorry for my back side. It's not my best side. But as this resin starts to set up, it's gonna be that much harder, that much harder to spread. But like I said, the guys on the guard work work frivolously, I'm, th I'm thinking, uh, with chemists to uh, get this formula to be user friendly. I mean, it's I find it very I find it very user friendly. It's uh, you know, there's no torching, 
uh, when you're mixing it and uh, you're using a drill to mix it with um, and you're, inter inter you're introducing bubbles to, to that, um, you're not, um, you don't have that problem. A lot of other residents you can't, you gotta stir, you gotta stir slowly. You gotta stir slowly so you can, uh, so the bubbles, you know, so you don't get introduced bubbles into the resin. That way when you're laying it, you're not, you're not, um, you're not picking it out or you're not torching the bubbles, stuff like that towards the end. Um, this stuff really is amazing. You can't screw it up. Um, I just, you know, it costs a little more than some of the, the resins out on the market. But as far as quality, I just don't think, I don't, I don't think you can, honestly, I don't think you can beat the quality. I mean, the quality, I mean, this stuff is just freaking amazing. So, I'm just trying to get this as level as I possibly can, you know. Uh, like I said, you know, these guys at Ligari make this look so freaking easy. You know, they just, you know, matter of fact, I think I, I seen them do a video, they did a video, and man, they did a video and it was like, you know, he, he did the the mixing and everything, laid it on there. I think they did a dirty pour with what's called a dirty pour. And uh, it was just freaking amazing. I mean, I think nine minutes from start to finish. And I'm like, wow, dude, that is, that is absolutely incredible. You know, start to finish, you know. Uh-oh, I accidentally put my tape somehow. I must have leaned against it. No worries, because, you know, this doesn't have to be for, for performance and durability. You know, I might worry about it if, might worry about it if I was uh, doing some cabinets or stuff, or if I was a professional contractor and stuff. But when you're doing an art project, you know, not everything has to be perfect. When I laid the, laid the stripes down, I, uh, oh, I, uh, what do you call it? I had what I call a blowout. When you lay it and there's a little gap in between and you're spraying it, it kind of, you know, your paint and stuff get under, under your tape line and I call it a blowout. So now how I corrected that was really easy. I just took a little bit of denatured alcohol, acetone, something like that, and I just, I cleared it, cleared it up. So, you know, you don't, you don't have to worry a whole lot with this stuff. I mean, like I said, it is it's just super user friendly, man. I just it's just freaking amazing. And this project has turned out freaking amazing. You know, I'm a I haven't did too many tutorials because I'm not as exciting as those guys. Man, uh, I find I find their videos very you know, um, informative and entertaining at the same time. Okay, they give your views and your, their opinions and they're not holding anything back for you guys to have success, success in whether you're doing your countertops or floors, your art projects or nothing. Okay, these guys aren't holding back. They are telling you, which they're giving you the tools which you need to succeed with this project and stuff. And uh, I feel that's what they gave me um, I, well, you know what, man, honestly, you know, I was school for two years for paint, and, uh, I, uh, I mean, I was fortunate enough to, uh, have some of the best teachers that I could possibly have, you know, teach me and stuff, and, uh, every day, every day is a learning, learning experience. Kind of. So, 
you know, I've got so many art projects around here that just, they they just, you know, they, they don't turn out kind of the way I want them to turn out. And uh, I just, I get a little, I get a little disappointed in myself, but you can't do that. I mean, art projects, you can always correct, you can always add on, you can always do something. That's how I got this cool water drop effect, and I can't wait to, uh, you know, I can't wait to um, take some final pictures of this. Um, it's really freaking cool, and like I said, something I, something I did a little different, you know, I water dropped this flag, I wanted to make it my own, you know, uh, Lagarde put, put out such a beautiful flag, and I believe that's a flag they gave to one of their local residents, you know, uh, uh, one of their veteran in the veteran community and stuff and uh, you know so they, they surprised the guy uh, well you get the gist of this I'm just like I said I'm Trying to get some of my, get some re resin into some of the areas that, especially around the edges here. Um, and I have some. I laid some of this paint and stuff, uh, my water drops, normally they're dry and everything, but I think I have a little bit of water under, still underneath some of these bubbles. So when I, I've got a couple over here that aren't, aren't playing ball. So, but you know, like I said, you can correct, you can correct anything. Yeah, you can correct anything that you do. See, I just, I got some more paint in here. I'm just going to see if I take that, take it right out. Not a big problem. Sometimes you'll see some, sometimes you'll see some bubbles in this. You just take your, take your thing and just kind of hit them. They'll go down. I will hit this a ton with a little bit of denatured alcohol and uh, help pop some of these other bubbles that I just, I can't really see or get to. But, all right, I'm gonna finish spreading this out and everything. Just wait to see my final. All right, this is my dry result of the flag that I did. Now you can see Seeing there where I did the water dropping and all the stuff, I'm going to get as close as I can to show you how cool this turned out and how I didn't know how anything would turn out because I have never, you know, technically done it like this before. But with any kind of creativity, you can do anything. All right, now, like I said, this is my final result. Of the flag with uh, Ligari, Ligari resin and some of their pigments. And some of this thing, like I just kind of lightly put red in there. And uh, when I put the final flood coat on, I put just a little bit of that blue blue mica in there just to give it a just to give it a little but this that is a look at my flag just in time for flag day I would like to show you some other
I have this tabletop I did. And this uh, Punisher skull. I have another tabletop I did. But I, um, I scuffed it. And uh, I need to put another layer of resin on there. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you. Leave me a comment. Um, maybe I will make an actual video from start to finish on how to water drop your product. It's a great effect. It's just something that I've done a lot of and um, everything. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I couldn't have done this without uh, just top of the line Ligari resin. So. All right, Semper Fi, hoorah.